Hey guys, welcome to Chat with Your Girl KST. It's your girl K. And tonight is our Friday night show, our second Friday night show at that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Get yourself something to drink, something to eat, and let's relax for the next few minutes. Now, what this Friday night show consists of is I will speak about a series of celebrities and their controversies that they've been involved in this week, and we'll get into detail with them. I'll share my opinion with you with you on each celebrity and then we will move on to the next all right now let's jump into it first up we have blueface now blueface was recently arrested this week for attempted murder now why was he arrested for attempted murder he was arrested for attempted murder because blueface was at a strip club one night and when he was at the strip club one night according to tmz he was trying to flirt with these girls and as he was trying to flirt with these girls one of the girls i guess they were in like a broken down car or something like that and because she was in a busted down car one of the guys started to clown him for it and when he started to clown him for it the blueface didn't like being clowned for it so one thing led to another now he's on the hook for attempted murder 2.5 seconds into his arrest the baby mama and krishan rock are fighting the girls are fighting what are they fighting for basically a pissing contest to say who's gonna hold him down baby mother Jaden basically says hey look i don't care who he deals with i'm gonna always be in the picture i'm here to stay i'm not going anywhere and what krishan rock said was you know she's gonna fight for hers and blah 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 and just a whole bunch of mess but nonetheless let's move on to the court the, the courthouse when he was sorry when he was trying to get bail his bail was set to 50k but what stood out to us about the courthouse situation was that the judge referred to krishan rock as his fiance his fiance what yes you heard me correctly his fiance the judge referred to krishan rock as his fiance so i don't know if this is like a behind the scenes thing that they have been having going for a while that they didn't quite tell us about or if this was something that they just said just to make it seem as if he has a good reputation or to make him seem more credible than he actually is whatever the case may be she she was referred to as his fiance and his bail was set to fifty thousand dollars now this trio this triangle this group situation between blueface krishan and Jaden has been going on for a while and will continue to go on so let's just say good luck to them and move on to a more healthier couple the obamas and this is what michelle obama had to say about relationships and marriage There was never 50-50. And so, yeah, there were times when I felt like I was 70% in and he was doing 30% um, because of the choices that I made in the terms of how I wanted our family to look. I had to take my foot off of my career gas pedal, uh, never putting on the brake, but slowing up a little bit. Um, those are the natural compromises that are required. And I feel bad when I see young people giving up on their relationships mm -hmm. because there's there are periods of hard so i think it's important for us to be honest in those conversations not to glamorize what a partnership feels like because then uh young people quit too soon if um i totally agree with michelle obama that you know we shouldn't be glamorizing relationships and when we are in extended relationships we should be letting people know that they hey there are ups and downs and there are good days and there are bad days but what keeps someone's relationship going is the ability to go through those bad days and not have it have it have the relationship fall apart just because of those bad days i also loved what she said because it removes this cliche way of thinking of marriage of this glitzy glam glory happy go lucky kind of thing and points to the reality of what marriage is it's the grunt work it's the it's the root work that you have to do to stay together you have to deal with difficult times you have to deal with bad attitudes you have to deal with someone at their worst while showing your worst to other people and having them deal with it so 
all in all relationship isn't this beautiful butterfly rosy dozy thing that people make it out to be and you have to be willing to stand through all of those rough times to make it to the next side but let's move on to something a little bit more like what the hell is he talking about and that is diddy and diddy pays his barber one thousand dollars to cut his hair and five thousand dollars per day but let's listen Share with the world, he's one of the best, but it's like I'm outside, outside, so it's like I need my hair like done every five minutes. But um, if you if you gonna pay that price, I can spare. You know what I'm saying? Me, my my, you know, my daily price is five thousand. You know, and I'm just saying, I'm just telling y'all the truth. It's my barber, Marcus. I love you, brother. Uh, yeah, don't take less than a thousand dollars. Know your worth, King. Know your worth. Know your worth. All I want to say to that is where can I apply? Where are they giving out applications? I would love to apply. I can learn how to be a barber in 2.5 seconds. I will comb. I will snip. I will wash. I will clip. I will pick. I will do everything that needs to be done. $1,000 to $5,000 a day to cut some hair. Now I get it. They are celebrities, celebrity hairstylists, celebrity makeup artists. They're going to get paid way more money than a regular than a regular makeup artist or a regular hairstylist will ever get paid but seriously like five thousand dollars a day but who am i to say right who am i to name someone else's price and put value on someone else people have their own things that they charge and you just have to respect it either you pay the price or you move on i'm just saying i want to get i want to get on game i want to know how to do this okay but let's move on to something else right let's move on to something else a little bit more like icky eel just hilarious recently said that she was contacted by a celebrity which she did not mention and this celebrity wanted her to do some icky things. Well, it depends on who you are and what you would consider icky or not. But let's listen to her. So this guy's a celebrity. Blue check in the DM. Yep. This nigga DM'd me and wanted to fly me out so I could fuck him. In the hands? Yes, but not with a dildo. This nigga thought I was a man. He really did think I was a, yep, he thought I was a transgender. He thought I was a transgender. He was very drunk what he was. What the fuck is very wrong with him? Like, Very direct with I was this like, This is crazy. Wow. Yes. I would like to know this nigga's name. Ooh. Let me ask you this. Mm. Uh, if he made the, the deal seem pretty juicy, you know, let's mm. say you single and, you know, maybe offered you $100,000. Would you have put a strap on a fucking ass? Absolutely. What do you mean? Oh, wow. Girl, yeah. I was trying to go find a dick. I right. know it was money involved. I have just you ever used a strap on somebody? No, I was trying to practice all this. But I was, I think I was more insulted because he thought I was a man. So I was like, fuck a bitch. Yeah, bitch. But ass when nigga. I seen, like, wager the money, I was like, oh, I, I really got it. <laughs> that is a little bit hilarious right so somebody contacted a celebrity contacted just hilarious to basically do uh, what, what, anal sex to have her do anal onto the per like you just heard what she said right i don't need to get into it but what i have to say is that everybody have their fetishes everybody have their things that they are into everyone have the light their lifestyle that they live that they live like some people are going to be into things that you aren't into you're going to be into things that people aren't into and we just have to learn to accept everyone for who they are and when you're into something you go for it and when you're not into it you leave it the hell alone and that's what Jess should have did just leave it the hell alone and it seems like that's what she did so good luck to jess it is a little bit insulting when someone you're near fully a female and someone thinks that there's a possibility that you might be trans i feel like that's the insulting a little bit but she'll be fine she's good let's move on to something a little bit more lighthearted, and we're going to be talking about india royale and what she had to say she said a nigga bm a nigga baby mama has to be in love or dead that's the only way she won't be on your dick 
in case anybody missed it the fuck she also continued to say in fact i'm in fact a baby mama but one thing about it i ain't bothering my baby daddy new girl because i don't care about either the sea is swimming with fish won't dwell on one and I totally agree with India on the fact that you can't dwell on one person. You can't dwell on your ex, whether it's a baby daddy or just a regular ex. You shouldn't be dwelling on these people, searching their social media, wondering who they're with, um, calling, texting, nagging, being hurtful, being vengeful towards your ex and their new partner just to either get more information or to feel that hurt that you're feeling deep down inside i feel like none of it is worth it and i grew up seeing a lot of that and it's like i got to a, sp a, p a point where i realized that if i have an ex right baby daddy or just a regular ex and they're in my past if i keep looking back at my ex at what he's doing and who he's doing it with how am i focused on my future I can't focus on my future. I'm still focused on my past. So I want you guys to look at it that way. Look at yourself, picture yourself in the mirror and your ex is behind you. You are facing the opposite direction. You, you have to now make the decision. Are you gonna turn around to look back at your ex and deal with the past and live in the past? and go back and forth about the past or are you going to turn around face forward and move on with your life and keep walking and keep walking into newness keep walking into new relationships keep walking into new friendships keep walking into a new path with new fishes in the sea like india may put um but yeah i feel like being vengeful and going back and being toxic and wondering what the ex is doing and who the ex is doing it with it's it's uncalled for it's not anything that should be done but let's talk cynthia as we're talking exes let's talk cynthia bailey so cynthia bailey recently posted a picture on her facebook of her and peter her ex-husband peter and in this picture her she basically captioned it and said officially coming home but then she later on shut down the rumors that she was going to get back together with her ex-husband i think cynthia bailey did this in like a jokingly way just to kind of get the fans amped up a little bit just to kind of joke about you know the situation being that she's currently going through a divorce now so i think it was just all jokes like you know how cynthia can get sometimes you know like she'll just post something you know just to kind of you know rile you guys up so i feel like you know i wouldn't i wouldn't take that too seriously i don't think her and peter are getting back together but even if her and peter were to get back together i would only hope that it's based upon love and not upon anything else now let's talk sweetie sweetie recently dropped her ep um and she has the songs on it addressing the rumors and stuff like that like she said she would now i want to know what do you guys think are you guys liking it i personally have not been able to listen to it but of course the song don't say nothing that's the one that everyone has been listening to and i feel like it could be a nice little it has a nice little ring to it and stuff like that but i still have to listen to the entire ep um but for the most part I just personally feel like your music, your your song is your art. 